One day a man announcing got off the boat. He came to the island and he looked around. Where's the party, man? Anansi looked around. He did not see the party. I brought my party hat. But instead of being dressed in bright Caribbean clothing, young man, the people were all dressed dark. You could hardly see them. And he looks around. He sniffed the air trying to find the jerked Jamaican chicken, the spicy island foods. There was no foods cooking, man. Hey, where's the party, says Anansi. He listened for the steel drums, the calypso music, and looked to see if the children were dancing the limbo or dancing the favela in the streets, but there was no party. Anansi says, where is the party? People say, shush, be quiet or the snake will get you. What snake, says Anansi, on the island? There is a snake that is so large, he's a giant python. He can unhinge his jaws, open his mouth, swallow a horse and ride a boat in the same bite. If he sees you, he will eat you. If he hears you, he will eat you. If he smells the food cooking, he will eat you. Now go away, man. Anansi says, I will not go away. Show me the snake. I will kill him. Oh, no. If you kill him, he is the favorite pet of the sky gods. He will, they will send a hurricane. <sighs> they will blow the island away. Anansi says, then show me the snake. And I will stop his evil ways without killing him. Anansi wrapped a rope around his waist. He took off his hat. He asked a brave woman to put two apples inside of his hat. She put two apples into the hat. Oh, you need to put them in, darling, or I won't go away. Thank you. <laughs> Ask a brave woman to put two eggs inside of his hat. You broke that one. Give me another. I thank you. Ask a brave man to put two warm loaves of bread inside of his hat. Ah, thank you. And he asked an adult for a bottle of wine because children should never be touching the grape. And she gave the bottle to him. Anansi walked around and says, where is the snake? Where is the snake? The snake opened one eye and says, oh, my dinner is coming to me. I want to show the world he is the most beautiful snake in the world. Ooh, says the snake. He opened his other eye. My dinner is intelligent. I want to show he is the longest snake and not small like the island people say. Who says I'm small? Came the, said the snake and he came out of hiding. Not I, says Anansi. I say, man, you're the longest snake in the world. Come here, said the snake. Anansi took one step, then he took the two apples, he rolled them across the ground towards the snake. The snake could feel the vibration of the two apples. Ah! He ate the two apples. I said, come here, said the snake. Anansi stepped one more step, he threw the two eggs into the air. The snake could feel the vibration of the eggs on the wind, of the wind on the back of the eggs. Ah! He ate both of the eggs. I said, come here, says the snake. Anansi stepped forward. He held out to two loaves of warm bread. The snake could feel the heat. He thought, man, they were the arms of a man. Gah! The snake ate both of the loaves of bread. Come here, my darling, said the snake. I want to whisper secrets in your ear. Anansi uncorked the bottle of wine. He rolled it across the ground. The snake swallowed the bottle and the wine. Then his brain was not thinking too clearly. That's why we say children stay away from the grape. It rots your brain. Anansi watched the snake as the snake drank down the wine. And then the snake says, what was it you wanted? I wanted to measure you and show the world how long and beautiful you are. Measure away, said the snake. Anansi tied the snake's tail to the log and says, can you stretch out? The snake gave a mighty stretch. Anansi moved 10 feet. He tied more of the snake's tail to the log. Can you stretch again, Mr. Snake? 
The snake gave a mighty stretch. Anansi moved ten feet. He tied more of the tail to the log. Can you stretch again, Mr. Snake? I can, but this is hurting, said the snake. Then very well, my kind snake, I will untie you. But the world will never know how long and beautiful you are. No, no, tie me tighter, said the snake, and he stretched out. Two times more, Anansi tied the snake, until finally he tied the snake's head securely to the log. Can you move now, Mr. Snake? Of course I cannot move, you fool, said Anansi, for I am tied to the log. Tis not I then who am the fool, says Anansi, for I am not tied to the log. It's party time! Anansi called the people. They dressed in the bright island clothes. They cooked the jerk chicken. They played the steel drums and the calypso music at the islands. Then they all grabbed a hold of the snake and they pushed him into the Caribbean Sea, where he floated until he landed in South America. The rope rotted. The snake was free to roam in the Amazon. Anansi went back. Sky God! Pay up! Give me something good for killing your, uh, for, for stopping your snake without killing him. And the Sky God gave Anansi all of the stories in the world. If you wanted to tell a story, you had to get it from Anansi. If you liked a book, you had to get it from Anansi. But somewhere, man, down on the island, someone has done started killing some of the snakes. And you know how I know? Because the sky god <coughs> sent a hurricane. He blew the stories all across the world. And the one I caught in the air to tell you today, I caught on the way to Taiwan.